I think that means feed me in dolphin, which is something dozens young and old are happy to oblige. Even though you may get a little wet. A small admission fee will get you a good look at a few of the 11 dolphins living at the park. Hands-on experiences start at $65 and up per person. It's too bad this one can't play for the Miami Dolphins. There's plenty to see, do, and touch. All right, hold that camera for me. And you can even take home a piece of artwork individually designed with help from a flippered friend. Chad Stauffer has been in charge of marine mammals for the last two years. He says watching people connect with dolphins keeps the job fun. It's a joy to be able to see a guest that had been dreaming about this all their life to get in the water and interact with them and just to see the, the smiles on their faces. And finally, it's my turn. Okay, Dan, this is Pebble. She's 40 years old. 40, 40. My date with the dolphin was supposed to start off with a kiss. At first, I was nervous right, now, Pebbles wasn't going to pucker up. In fact, it looked like she was ready to take a nip out of my nose. But I gave her a second chance, and she must have warmed up because this time she kept her mouth closed. But after it was over, she had plenty of back talk. Or maybe she just wanted some more fish. Trainers use fish to teach dolphins certain behaviors. Now, although his pose looks simple, it took several months and lots of fish. We throw toys in there, we'll throw ice, a lot of that will rub the dolphins down and get in and play with them. So fish will only go so far, but eventually they'll get tired of eating. So you do need to reinforce the animals in other ways. After a little more horsing around. Keep spinning, keep going, keep going, good job. It was time for the grand finale. Two, three, go. I threw my hands Perfect. to the sky, and that's just where pebbles went. The world's first oceanarium opened here in 1938 to tens of thousands of visitors. It was the first time most people had ever seen the ocean habitat up close. Marineland also served as the location for the first trained dolphin. Today that tradition continues, but if you've ever visited before, you'd hardly recognize the place now. It's completely rebuilt and designed to give you an intimate encounter with dolphins. The thing that makes us different and sets us apart from everybody else is just when you come here and do an interactive program, it's a very intimate experience where we don't try to squeeze a bunch of people in the water. Um, there's usually very few people in, involved in it and it's, we, we focus on intimacy here and that's, that's our goal.